Hey everyone, it's Shireen from MyPainCenter.com. Hey, one of the questions we've been getting a lot lately is how do I smoke CBD and why should I smoke CBD? So let's get into why you should smoke CBD. One is CBD, smoking CBD is the fastest way to get CBD into your system because you're inhaling it right into your lungs, it enters your bloodstream the fastest. So if you're looking for immediate relief from CBD, smoking it will be the most beneficial. So if you suffer from social anxiety, um, panic attacks, migraines, acute pain, so like pain just comes on, like say you have fibromyalgia or arthritis or something like that, um, smoking CBD is one of the fastest way to get immediate relief. We here at My Pain Center offer four different ways to smoke CBD. I am going to start with my favorite way of smoking CBD. That is CBD Shisha. This is a new product that we just started carrying a couple months ago, and it comes in eight different flavors. This is Mega Mango, which is the one I'm smoking right now. I kind of go through them depending on the week. <laughs> and to smoke CBD Shisha, you actually need a hookah, which is something like this. And you put the Shisha in the bowl, and you cover it with foil, and you light it up, and then you can smoke it. Um, what I really love about CBD Shisha is it's like an experience. It's like, especially right now as we're going through COVID and coronavirus and I'm sitting at home a lot, it's just a fun way in the evenings. If I'm going to watch a movie, I can light it up, um, light up the hookah, I mean, not the movie. And uh, about an hour, you get about an hour, hour and a half smoke out of it. So you're just like, as you're watching the movie, you're just kind of relaxing and like all that anxiety is just like, coming out of you and you and then it's time to go to bed and I literally have like the deepest sound to sleep um, I I just pass out and it's just been amazing so um, CBD Shisha is one way to smoke CBD um, another really fun way to smoke CBD is just your OG joint um, it's just like a marijuana joint I've said there is no marijuana in here it is totally CBD there is the legal amount of THC in here there is 0.3 percent THC in here um, so it does have that in here, but it will not make you high and will not give you that psychoactive feeling. Um, there's one gram of CBD in here, and um, if you've never smoked a joint, uh, you just light it up and you smoke it. Um, you don't have to finish the whole thing. You can always put it out and then restart it whenever you want to. I love doing these um, because I live in Florida, so it's been fun just sitting out by the pool or on the patio um, and just smoking one of these. Um, and just, again, we have different strains. We have strains for pain relief, anxiety relief, uplifting, um, and sleep. So you can get whichever one really floats your boat. Um, if you've never smoked before, um, and you're not sure if you want to start smoking, totally understand. I'm not a smoker. I never, um, I, I mean, I smoke hookah, but I'm not like a smoker smoker. I don't smoke cigarettes. I'm not a vapor. Um, I don't, I don't partake in smoking like it's not my thing but I ever since I was introduced to CBD I have been smoking a little bit more than I ever did before because I do sometimes want that immediate relief I'm a comedian um, and so when I do comedy shows or even when I'm about to do radio shows to promote comedy I get these butterflies and sometimes I can't calm those butterflies down and you can hear it in my voice and so I will smoke I will take a few puffs of CBD just to really help me uh, relieve that pressure um, so one of the ways um, if you've never smoked CBD before that you can start with is a disposable CBD vape pen. Um, these are called vape pens or vapes or, um, yeah, basically vapes or vape pens. Um, and it's disposable because once you finish the CBD in it or the battery dies, you've got to throw it away. It's over. Um, and how do you know if the battery's dead? Most CBD uh, vape pens have a light on the end, so when you inhale, it lights up. So, for example, you saw it lighted up white. Um, these usually run between $20 and $25. They usually have less than 100 milligrams of CBD in them. You usually get between about 250 to 300 puffs out of each one before you have to throw it away. I'm not going to chuck it because I don't want to break my screen. Once you realize you enjoy smoking CBD and it's something you want to do and you want to like upgrade and you want to get something stronger, then I would suggest you go for a vape cartridge. And a vape cartridge looks like this. Um, and you can see the CBD in it. I personally, I use a vape cartridge um, more than a disposable. A couple reasons, they're stronger. You, these are 200 milligrams of CBD, so each puff is a little bit stronger. Um, it's a cleaner smoke in the sense that there's no fillers in it. There's nothing that makes it give it gives it that um, fruity taste. So I forgot to say with the disposable pens, usually they come in fruity flavors like strawberry, mango, watermelon, tropical fruit. Um, usually the vape cartridges are more uh, more of a clean. It's usually just CBD. Um, there's no fillers to it per se. So it's more of a woody taste. It's like smoking weed per se, like that 
and I mean by the taste, not the effects. You still, you still don't get high off of these. There's still just the 0.3% THC in them, but they do have that woody, earthy taste, earthy taste to it. So if you don't like that taste to it, you may not like these. It does take some getting used to. It is a harsher smoke. Um, I will say that. So when you inhale for the first time, if you've never smoked before, you may get that tickle in your throat or you may cough up. I did the first couple times um, that I had to learn how to smoke, um, smoke a vape pen. And when you buy a cartridge, you will also need to buy what's called the pen or the battery. Um, so you buy one of these and these come in different shapes, sizes, forms. You may have seen people like hold like a grip one. Um, they come in small ones like this as well. And then obviously like there's the ones where people like the gigantic ones. I, I go with something slim like this or this because it fits into my pocket or my backpack or my purse because um, I don't really need anybody to see what I'm doing. And then you just, you just twist it on here like this. And then you'll see most of them will have like an on off button. And this also controls the heat setting. So you usually heat these up, um, low, medium or high setting. And as you play around with it, you'll just know what kind of setting um, you want for the, for the maximum inhale and exhale. And then your last way of smoking it, there is no last way. That was the four, that was the four. I lost track. I got so excited about already smoking these. Um, but yeah, so you've got your CBD shisha. Um, I, didn't, I didn't mention these have 200 milligrams of CBD in the entire jar, which means every time you pack a bowl, it's about 25 to 30 milligrams of CBD in the bowl. Um, then you've got your, you've got your pre-joints that come in different strains. Then you've got your disposable vapes, which usually these tend to be um, an isolate CBD, which means there's no THC in these. Um, this is completely 100% CBD. And then, and I, and I want to mention also when you buy your vape pens, just be careful again where you're buying your vape pens from, who you're buying them from, what brand you're buying, and then check to see if you can see the certificate of analysis. You should check to make sure there's no pesticides in it, um, that it's a clean source, obviously because everything that was happening with vape pens late in 2019, you just want to make sure you're smoking something reliable. And here at My Pain Center, we make sure that the products we sell are reliable and that we have checked the COAs. Um, so they are clean products. And then obviously then your last one are the vape cartridges. Again, these come in different strains, so you can get a strain for sleep, pain, anxiety, relief, upliftment. So, um, these are actually kind of fun because you can kind of dis you can get, um, a cartridge depending on how you're feeling or what you want to use it for. And again, same thing with these, when you get a vape cartridge, make sure you check the certificate of analysis, make sure you're checking the brand, making sure it's a reliable, um, company. I know last year it was funny. People were buying vape cartridges from people who were selling them out of their trunks. Guys, don't do that. Like I don't do that. Go to a store, buy from a reliable source, go online. Um, if you really, really need a vape pen and you, the price is too high and somebody's offering it to you from the back of a truck, really just run away, guys. Run away. It's not worth your health at that point. Um, if you have any questions, hit me up, support at mypaincenter.com. If you have any questions, hit us up. We're here to help you. So let us know how we can help you. Have a great week.